Graham, a point. Could have been three. How do you reflect on it? I think it should have been three. Um, I think we just we, we didn't bring our shooting boots with us. Um, we were solid at the back. Performance was really strong. But it's uh, just that finishing off at the end, po polishing, our, polishing our move off at the end. And we had umpteen chances. Um, but yeah, I think it's two points dropped, to be quite honest with you. Just that little bit of composure, that little bit of quality was missing in the final third. But we got in there, we asked questions of them. We were nearly inches away, nearly uh, all of them, all of them phrases we can use. At the end of the day, we didn't put the ball in the back of the net, and we should have. But yeah, there was only one team in that game really looking to win it, going to win it, or uh, attempting to win it. So uh, fair play to the lads. They, uh, they played really well, a really strong performance in the second half. First half, we were a little bit passive. Um, didn't like the didn't like the look of us in the first half, so we had to have a few words at half time. And in fairness to them, they came out in the second half and really gave it a go. But um, I think everybody going away from the ground this evening will be will be speaking about uh, us in the final third. Um, had we been better, had we been more clinical, we would have uh, we would have been out of sight. But um, unfortunately, we weren't. And Aidan, a, a virtual spectator for ninety minutes. Yeah, he had very little to do. Um, no, well, I've got to compl compliment the back four. Um, Aiden, he, 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 he had very little to do. So, so yeah, that, that was pleasing. That was positive. But there's plenty there to work with. There's plenty of work to be done on the training ground. We know where we need to. Uh, we know where we need to get to. But I hope the lads will take a little bit of uh, a little bit of self belief, a little bit of confidence from the performance because I thought it was a really strong performance away from home. Um, yes, it was a nervy. It was a nervy game. Both teams were nervy. They knew uh, they knew what was at stake for both uh, both clubs. The fans there was a little bit of nerviness about the fans as well. Um, but like I say, uh, we need to be better. We need to be better if uh, if we're to achieve our aims at the end of the season. Colin Teal came in to replace Bozzy, uh, to replace Zach rather effectively, and then Bozzy went down with illness. So you you lost your two experienced centre halves before he even kicked off today. The body Bozzy in is he ill? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, Bozzy just he picked up a little bit of an illness overnight and uh, he was just struggling. So Connor came in and Connor played. But I thought the two centre halves played really well. And they showed a good turn of pace, a little bit of organisation at the back. And it's difficult when you're a centre half, when, when, when you're camped in the opposition's half and, and, and you're, uh, you're not defending a great deal. Um, so you've got to stay switched on and you've got to stay concentrated. And I thought we did, to be fair. Fair play to them, fair play to the back line. Um, and it's not easy coming in. Three lads, was it? But two lads, Lennon made his debut last week, but Sam Reid as well and uh, Connor. So we've got new faces, we're integrating them. And um, yeah, look, it's, it's, it's one of those. Um, if only it was the start of the season and not midway to true. Um, but yeah, we've got midweek games as well. So trying to get on the training ground and getting the work done that we need to need to get done is, is, is obviously difficult as well. So. But yeah, fingers crossed, Bozzy comes through and he, he, he's, he's okay Monday morning when we, when we get together again and, and he's ready for Tuesday. And a break now for a fortnight from League Action, National League Cup and then FA Trophy. And I'd imagine, despite being cup competitions and not your bread and butter, it's two games you want to win. Yeah, I think I, think I had great success with, with Newport and, and previous clubs in cup competitions. Um, and that helps us build momentum, that helps us build confidence. Uh, it's a game of football, you want to win, it doesn't matter who it's against or, or, or what competition it's in, you want to win. And we'll be looking to try and take this second half performance on into Tuesday night and into Saturday and try and build on it. And just, uh, but like I say, we, we, we want to finish off um, the other end, we want to be hitting the back of the net because that's the, that's the be all and end all of football, you've got to be scoring goals to win games. And 260 away fans, did you proud again? Of, uh... Brilliant. It's a good, good, good distance coming here, as we know. Oh, brilliant! Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, we we could hear them, and they were willing the ball in the net at the end, and that. So uh, yeah, they were a different class, to be fair. Real, uh, real top, top, top supporters, to be honest. Proper, proper supporters come all the way down here on a Saturday afternoon. Um, it was different class, but um, we need to probably put a little bit more meat on the bones for them. We need to give them something to sing and cheer about. And it would have been nice had we have finished off one or two of those moves that we, we had today to give them something to go home with. But um, on reflection, it's two points two points dropped. I don't think anybody will argue with that. And um, on reflection, it was a strong performance. And it's something to, something to build on. We know where we need to get to. We know what we need. And we know the areas of the pitch we need to, uh, we need to improve on.